one thing that might be useful to look at at this point is converting BPM to milliseconds. So, so far we've been using milliseconds in relation to Metro because that's what Metro tends to use, but uh, for most people's purposes a BPM count is much more useful. So we need to find a way of converting what we understand to be beats per minute to something that Metro will understand and be useful within this context. And the only calculation you really need to do is to work out how many milliseconds there are in a minute. And then you divide back that by the number of beats you want, and that gives you uh, how many milliseconds there should be between each of your beats. So how many milliseconds are there in a minute? Uh, well, there are 1,000 milliseconds in a second, and there are 60 seconds in a minute. So there will be uh, 60,000 milliseconds in a minute. So we'll try doing that first of all. So I need 60,000 um, and I need a divide oops, a divide object and I'll allow it to work in decimals and say I've got 60 beats per minute What am I doing here? <clears throat> I'm getting, uh, I'm triggering 60, but every time I do so, I send 60,000 to the left-hand side of my divide object so that we have 60,000 divided by uh, the number of beats, which is 60. And that should give us 1,000. So that's that would give us uh, one beat per second, which is perfect. If I then change that, actually I'll change that to a, um, an integer box. Oops. And say we wanted 120, then we have 500 milliseconds put between each beat, which again is 120 BPM. So this is now correct. So whatever I put in this top number box, um, the calculation at the bottom will give me the number of necess milliseconds necessary between each beat. Um, so this, this calculation is working, uh, and that's great. So I could neaten that up. Um, and we have, I could just kind of pop it in here. Um, but I'll show you a, a slightly quicker way of doing that, or at least a neater way still, uh, which is to use this mechanism, which is if you put a, a, an exclamation point before the divide, then it reverses the direction of the uh, calculation. So instead of the first number being divided by the second, the second number is divided by the first. So this means that I can put exclamation mark divide 60,000 and send my uh, BPM value to the left hand side so it goes 60,000 divided by the BPM rate as opposed to this one which works in the other direction. I hope that makes sense. But you'll see, actually I'll tell you what, I will connect this to there and you'll see that the outcomes are exactly the same. Okay. So we don't need this stuff anymore. Um, now it's not quite as simple as this, because um, if we look at this um, count from 1 to 16, it's not 16 beats that we're talking about. We're actually only talking about four beats, which are represented by this uh, bass drum sound here. Um, the rest, the ones in grey, are subbeats. So we might have 16 subbeats per, as it were, bar. Um, with four beats per bar. Um, but we are counting, although our BPM will be represented in beats, our counter is counting in subbeats. So because there are four subbeats per beat, we also need to divide this by four. Uh, I'll do that by a, according to decimals as well. That's what we want. Actually, I'll. Whoops. So if I connect that to there, um, now if we uh, say 120 BPM, then we have uh, 500 milliseconds between each beat, so 500 milliseconds between each of these orange bits, but 125 milliseconds between each beat, which is much more like what we, the speed that we actually want it to play back at. So I hope that makes sense. Um, and now uh, our BPM counts will behave just as we think it ought to according to BPM.